Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. It's time for our weekly painting progress, and well, that's it. <laughs> it was a pretty unimpressive week here at Obscurities in Miniatures. We just had too much stuff going on, and we did not get much painted. I did paint the bats that were part of the Grim Watch. It's rather uneventful, but they're done! Actually, I did paint a couple other things. I finished up a few more of the Mirce Norse guys, and his eyes look terrible now. God, I am trying ever so desperately to finish off that Agrax Earthshade gloss stuff I have, but I feel like I'm having to repaint everything after using it, so I'm not happy with his hands here. It's really kind of mangled. I did not do a good job of cleaning it up. But I went ahead and painted it anyway, and I did try to paint his face decently, but it just did not turn out good. I tried, though. I do like his scenic base with the mustachioed Brithonia guy on the ground there. Kind of cool. I didn't actually use a mirror space. I mean, this is a Wrath of Kings one, I think. Those deep dish ones. Funny enough, here is the same figure, except with an alternative set of hands and head. I do like that Mirce does this. They have a lot of optional versions for their various characters. Oh, and a different little scenic resting point. I think he actually was supposed to have a rock outcropping. And I think I have it somewhere, but who knows where. I think I like this version better. For some reason, the way he's holding his axes looks off to me. I like the scenic look. I like what's going on there, but this version, he's like full-on death dealer. Total Rosetta pose. Stack of skulls. Plus, he actually turned out pretty decent. I did try to paint them a little bit differently, just so that that way they weren't exactly the same. I mean, they are the same, but, you know, might as well mix it up a little bit. Finally this week, I got this guy pretty much done the day I started painting him. This is the veteran version of Boar from Steamforged Games Guild Ball, which is no longer in production. And I, I did get rid of all of that red. There are no more traces of that really nice looking colorful red resin he had. I dig this sculpt. I know somebody was asking me how he stacked up with some of the Nords from Conquest, and honestly, he just looks perfect next to them, and I put them all away, dang it. Let me see if I can grab one just to show you guys what I mean. Okay, well, actually, the only Nord I still have out at the moment was the Blooded, but you can see here. He's not that much bigger than the average Nord. He's a lot thicker. He's got that giant blood in him. He is super swole, but then again, Boar isn't exactly a slouch in that department either. So I think if you wanted to use him with him, it totally would work. I was thinking I just picked up the rulebook for Ragnarok from Osprey. It is perfect for the Nords. I've got so many of them painted, but I really don't have much intention of running a Nord army. If I ever do play a fully-fledged rank-and-file game of Conquest, it's more than likely going to be Spires or maybe the new feathered Amazon or ladies riding on dinosaurs, that's a strong possibility as well, but we'll see. Even though I have mostly Dwegon painted at this point. So, overall, a kind of pathetic turnout this week. I did, I spent a good chunk of time actually trying to finish up my King of Ruin from Creature Caster, but I figure I've got a captive audience with you right now, and hopefully you're still watching, and I thought I would talk about something that I had been meaning to get around to, and I haven't heard back from enough of the people I'd wanted to hear from, but you know what? Oh well. We are going to go ahead with the idea of going ahead and doing that giveaway. I know I talked about it when I got 300, 300, 3,000 subscribers, but we're almost at 3,500. So I thought, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I am actually not going to do a weekly painting progress next week. Next week is too crazy. It's a very important week at work and because of our work at home schedule, I am at the whims and mercy of everybody that needs to work with me. So I am stuck in front of a computer rather than a painting table. It's also my son's birthday, so we're probably going to do something for him. Hopefully have 
everybody respecting social distancing in the family. Uh, I don't envision us having a big mega party or anything like that, and he would not be happy with that as it is. So we're going to do that. And when we come back in two weeks with our weekly painting progress, and that doesn't mean I'm going to be not putting videos up. I've put up videos literally every single day, even when I'm in between countries on airplanes and whatnot, so that's not going to change. But in two weeks, we are going to do our weekly painting progress, but we are also going to do our first official Obscurities and Miniatures giveaway. And I did get in touch with a couple companies that were more than gracious enough to actually hook us up with some supplies to give to you guys, the viewers. So I actually got a hold of War Games Atlantic, and they graciously donated a box of Halfway Militia to you guys. And as tempting as it was, the seal is still there. Don't think I didn't try and think about it. Also from War Games Atlantic, they hooked us up with a box of their Romjäger, if I'm saying it right, I don't speak German, but they're Deathfield Space Germans. Actually, these dudes are really nice. I gotta say, I've painted a few of them up already, and they convert quite nicely. So, we're gonna give each of those away, and in addition to these two, there we go, that looks better. I got in touch with Parabellum Games. You know, guys know I really did Conquest. They actually hooked us up with a box of Dragon Slayer Dwegholms for you lucky viewers out there. And remember, since this is a dual model hybrid kit, you can actually build them as the Dragon Slayers or as the, what were they called? Hold things, which are the Dwegholm with the big giant shields and axe blades. In addition to that, I dipped into my own personal reserves and I found a nice unopened second edition box of Malifaux Dark Depths with Jacob Lynch. Um, for the most part, this crew has stayed the same in third edition. I actually dig the Illuminated more in this version than the new one, but I already have this crew painted up as it is, so I don't really need another one. So I'm going to pass that on to one of you lucky viewers. The coolest thing is... Uh, <laughs> Parabellum hooked us up with a Conquest starter box set. So it's like a six pound box of everything you need to play the game. The big huge abomination, all of your men at arms, your crossbowmen, your... Oh god, what were the Hundred Kingdoms knights called? Household Knights, that's it. Your Spire Brutes. They were Brute Drones, right? That sounds right. Yeah. Your Clone Guys, the... Uh, la, 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 la. Forest Grown Drones, that's it. And there is the Pharomancer as well, which is their wizardly dude. I know it's not in focus, but oh well. And then the Giant Abomination. So... All that could be yours. I am going to pull those names and let everybody know. And you can see my hands. Ooh, yeah, I'm a real person, believe it or not. Um, not a reptile. <laughs> I will be pulling the names and hopefully figuring out how to do that all and keep it kosher on YouTube and not get myself in trouble. And we will do that in two weeks. So hopefully, um, my, my hope is that I can actually break 3,500 subscribers before then. But one way or the other, we're going to continue to be posting videos, and I continue to appreciate each and every one of you that subscribes and watches because it keeps me motivated to keep doing this, and it's not like I have any chunk of this backlog of models ever seeming to dwindle down, and I really haven't bought anything in a long time, but anyway. So yeah, all this is going to be going home with one of you guys, five of you guys. Or girls. I don't know which. But anyway, that's it for me. Um, I will see you all back here tomorrow and throughout the week. At least I can be keeping up with comments in my phone in between meetings and work this week. But hopefully we will be back in two weeks with a very large and celebratory pile of painted miniatures with our weekly painting progress. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities in Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye!